Hey, hi, how are ya? It's Stacy. Um, I'm just gonna do a quick update. Let's see if I can do this without being all crazy, like out of blurry. I I don't have my triple, my triple? What am I talking about? Oh my God. Hey, hi, how are ya? It's Stacy. And I am gonna just do an update. Just a short update also, cause I am like in the middle of making my kids' lunch right now. I'm in the middle of packing all my books, which is not my favorite. And um, yeah, so I'm going to do quick update. Quick update. What's been going on? Um, so since I last updated you, which I have no idea when that was, um, I have, me and my family, have listed our house. Uh, we listed our house on the 8th or 9th of August. And we accepted an offer the next day. We had 30 showings the first day it was listed. Um, because we went like coming soon, like a couple days before it was actually listed, we had people like scheduling showings right away. Um, we had 30 that first day, so we had to be out of the house like for, oh, it was like 12 hours or something ridiculous. I had to take the dog, I left the cat. That was nerve wracking leaving the cat during this time this time of covid um and like just like willing people to not touch my cat um because they can get covid anyway so there was 30 showings that first day and then we had like 24 showings the next day and um yeah the first person first group of people the first family that came and saw the house uh offered we actually got 17 offers that um time frame of showings and we actually accepted the first offer. It was the best offer. We got like a certain amount of money over the list price because we listed it lower than like the estimated price that it, you know, of the area would have been a good amount to list it for. Anyways, um, so we accepted an offer the next day. Um, we canceled the open house that we had scheduled for Sunday. So yeah, we have an accepted offer. Our closing date is the same day that we're closing on our new house, which is like September 25th or something. Um, I went yesterday and got a new tattoo, which I had scheduled, scheduled before COVID happened. This is like my rescheduled appointment and they have like seriously intricate things that you have to do, procedures that you have to do in order to actually go. Um, when you get there, you have to they have to open the door for you. They disinfect your hands. They disinfect your phone. If you're gonna be looking at your phone, you put your stuff in a plastic bin. You go wash your hands for two minutes. You get your phone out of the like UV light thing that they disinfected your phone with. And you have to wear a mask the whole time. Also, if you came with a mask, which you should be wearing a mask if you're not when you're out in public. I don't know if that's something that people are actually controversial about. I mean, I know that they're controversial about it, but. I don't get why, but whatever. Um, I wore one to the uh, office, office, tattoo shop, to ta tattoo parlor, whatever. I, I wore one in and then they had me switch to a surgical mask when I got there. So I just put mine in my purse in the bin. Was there like three and a half hours getting this scrap tattoo done. It's in, San, it's in, it's in Sanaderm right now. So it looks kind of juicy and gross. I'll, I'll be able to take this off tomorrow. Um, I got this done yesterday. And I don't know if I've showed you guys what I had blueness done last month. And then I'll have another appointment in November to have them do the um, eye color. This one will be blue and then this one will be green. And Scrap still needs highlights because um, my tattoo artist started down here and made their way up. And by here and here, which is really tender when you're getting your tap, you know, getting a tattoo, I was done. I was like three and a half hours into my tattoo and, and then we were getting to the worst parts and I was just like tapped out. So they're gonna have to do the um, white highlight here and the colored eyes and any kind of touch ups the next time. But I had to reschedule that because it was scheduled for the day before our closing date. So it's not scheduled to like November now week of my birthday actually so I won't have these completely finished until November and then after that I might continue to add to my arm here and maybe put a badger here for um the badger from the Immortals Quartet from by Tomorrow Pierce so 
so yeah i get to take off the sanderm tomorrow around four o'clock be excited about that and then we'll start the real itchy part i don't know if you've ever had a tattoo but like about day seven or ten you start getting the like really itchy parts of your tattoo oh that's the worst um anyways and i think they said at my next appointment that they're going to kind of touch up my faithful tattoo um because he's really faded in comparison to the other two that are new because of time um what else um my kids are going virtual for school and um 100 virtual we're switching de districts before we actually move all we needed was a purchase agreement saying that we were moving so we're in a new district already and we're doing 100 virtual and um yeah what else i'm currently playing final fantasy 7 remake so are my kids um i'm also still kind of playing animal crossing but i will update you right now on the only book that i've finished reading in the last month and a half is binti by i don't know if i talked about this one already it does say that i finished it in july so like i don't think i've done a july update but this is the only book that i finished was by um Nede Okorafor. Binti, it's a short short novel. It's like 93 pages. Something like that. Um, I give it four stars. It's very interesting. Like African um, science fiction kind of story. Um, she goes to space to... I don't remember what it was for. She wanted to be um, some kind of scientist up in space. And she wasn't supposed to go because her families are, her family members are all descended from harmonizers, which um, mean that you stay on the planet. So she like uh, went against her descending. What am I trying to say? Her uh, tradition. There you go. Tradition. <laughs> I am only 15 books into my 52 page, 52 book goal for the year, and I don't think that I will be getting to 52, honestly, at this point in time. Um, I've packed a lot of my books already. I packed like six book boxes today. I still have a whole bookshelf to pack today, um, but keeping out like a couple books that I kind of like piqued my interest while I was packing like Brave New World <sighs> Left Behind number one because I've always been kind of interested in that one even though the <laughs> the plot line is ridiculous to me um what else I think that's it for right now i gotta go make my kids lunch but i hope you guys are all doing a good job at reading your books that you want to be reading and keeping up with your goals i will see you in another video hopefully very soon i'm hoping that i'll do a walkthrough of our current house when we move when we get everything like backed up and and uh like a, like a tour and then we'll do a tour of the new book new book mm -mm. then we'll do a tour of the new house when we move i guess if anyone wants to see that, I'd want to see it. I love those things, so, you know, whatever. Um, anyways, I hope you all stay wonderful, and I'll see you in another video, hopefully pretty soon. If not, I'm sorry.